Welcome to Autrade's video on launching the Futures Grid bot. First, click Futures Grid on homepage. Now, we need to find a suitable trading pair that has high volatility, sufficient liquidity, and strong support. For example, ETH USDT, entering at the current price. Next, let's decide the order's direction. The long robot will only open long and close long, while the short robot will only open short and close short. By selecting the neutral mode, both robots will run simultaneously, operating independently without interference. Moving forward, think about the allocation for each trade based on your individual finance, for example, 5 cons. Here, cont refers to a standard contract, and its value may vary depending on the crypto and the exchange you are using. Max positions in the bottom right is calculated by multiplying your positions per grid with grid count. It's the maximum amount you're willing to invest in this bot. Now, for you newbies out there, it is advisable to utilize a moderate leverage, such as 5, when engaging in futures trading. Top upward risk appetite, the default grid intervals will gradually decrease. Here, we can stick with conservative. Alright, now you can choose how many grids you want. The more grids you have, the more trading opportunities you'll get. Let's go with 6 grids for this example. Next, set the grid interval, for instance, 1%. The long bot will add a new grid when the price falls by 1%, and close a grid to secure profits when the price rises by 1%. For the short bot, it's the opposite. A smaller interval within the same price range is suitable for capturing small fluctuations, while a larger interval can capture bigger movements. Traders have the option to set up multiple grids simultaneously. This allows them to avoid missing out on profits when the price continues to move in a favorable direction. For example, if the long bot is set with three grids, and the market continues to rise, these three grids will be profitably sold at different price levels. Next up is the grid layout. If you keep the default geometric multiplier and arithmetic ratio unchanged, the grids constructed using both methods will be the same. If you choose geometric, the robot will lay out the grids with equal intervals based on the multiplier you set. For example, if the multiplier is set to 1.5x, you will get a grid layout like this. In narrow-range oscillating markets with smaller price fluctuations, each grid will yield higher profits. On the other hand, if you choose the arithmetic, the grids will be added with the arithmetic ratio incrementally for each grid. For example, if the arithmetic ratio is set to 1.5%, your grid layout will look like this. In rising markets, especially when the market shows a step-by-step -step upward trend, higher grids will generate more profits. In uncertain markets, you can reduce risk with grid stop loss. It will progressively close the grids based on the loss percentage of each grid. If the price continues to move in an unfavorable direction, resulting in a floating loss reaching, for example, 5%, that grid will be closed. Each grid is calculated independently, allowing for flexible fund allocation, risk reduction, and increased liquidity. Price ceiling and price floor are automatically calculated based on the parameters you have set, so there's no need for manual adjustment. If you prefer a more cautious approach, you can fill in the take profit and stop loss for meticulous risk management. Now, with all parameters filled in, click launch to let the futurist grid bot do its thing. 